Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali8, today we're going to be covering the map Warhawk, this is definitely an awesome map, it's one of my favourite maps currently within Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer, uh, within the description you can find a link to all of the other map guide videos that I've done for all the other multiplayer maps, and uh, within this video I'm going to be showing you some of the dynamic map events, and one of them can actually get you a kill streak, or actually get kills from the event, which is very very cool, and I'll show you that in a second. This is the layout of the map, you can spawn here, that I am at the moment, or on the opposite side, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, so let's start off on the side of the map that we spawned on on the moment, uh, at the moment. I'll start with this building here, and then I'll work around and we'll come back to that building there at last. One thing to note is that there are these wooden um, fences here, so you can run around the back. And it's worth noting, just because if you are running from the opposite side, so you're on the opposite side of the map, you can be running through here and have no idea that somebody's straight behind those uh, wooden blocks, uh, wooden fences. So that's something just to worth no noting. You can go underneath this part of the um, uh, stairs here. This room here is very, very useful. And one of the dyna dyna dynamic map parts of the event is that gate. If you shoot it or knife it, it'll open up. You probably won't be doing it from this side. You'll probably be doing it from the other side because the other spawn part is just over there. You've got a nice overview to this window. To anyone that's over there and to anyone that's in the middle, which is very, very useful. Um, however, you do not have the great line of sight on anyone that's over there. You physically have to come out into the open and you're very, very exposed. However, if you do so, you can come up here. You can crouch behind it, have a little bit of cover, but this will not give you very much cover at all. You can come all the way around the edge here. You can also jump up onto the lorry. And it's a very good way of doing the opposite. So if you spawn this side, you can then come up here, uh, jump up here. And then start shooting people from this angle or from that angle, which is very, very cool. Now, I'm going to show you one of the dynamic map events, which is over Ha, which you may see sometimes on the map, but not really know how it's activated. So, over this area of the map, you actually have this area here. As you can see, it's closed off currently. Uh, and if you hold X, you can actually breach it, like we've done so there. And then it'll actually explode, which is awesome. And then this area will light up. You can see the yellow exclamation mark, mark on the map. And this area is now open up, so it's now a separate walkway. Rather than just going through here, you can also go through there. So that is something to worth note. There's now two entrances. Um, and then there's a main dynamic map event. And what happens is, if you complete a field order on this map, you may sometimes get the skull symbol. That is not a KEM strike. It's a dynamic map event. And it will launch a load of missiles up in the sky. And they'll start landing on the ground. And they can kill off the enemies. I'm going to cut to a clip where I got this within multiplayer. I'm going to show you that very, very quickly. And then we're going to come back to the map guide. Friendly salvo inbound. Alright, so there you go guys, you've seen that in action, it's very, very cool, if you're on the enemy team and that happens, just run, get into cover, hide, it's it's gonna kill you pretty much. So, you can also get on top of this tank and uh, actually jump on top of here, not the most useful location, but I guess you can surprise people that are around here. You're pretty much very exposed, uh, so I wouldn't really recommend it, uh, not the best place in the world. So we sort of covered that side of the map. Um, Pretty much, uh, you know, stand aside the map. Uh, one of the key windows positions up there, which you always want to be checking wherever you are on the map. So, go doing a sort of loop around the map, you have got this little part where you can nicely get a good vantage point over there. You've got this back room, which is a good way of getting around the edge of the map if you're being feeling a bit wary. You've got another part here, which is a good sort of vantage point over there if you're seeing anyone in that direction. You can go all the way around the edge of this truck, but you've got to be wary that there can be people waiting in that building there. And they can easily pick you off, because if you're sitting here, you can easily just shoot uh, anyone that's in that direction, which is worth noting. And then you can also do the same for anyone that's over here. This is, you know, sometimes people do like to camp in here, because you can spawn in here, so they'll often spawn and then not move. This is a very high traffic area. This is another one of the spawn points. We either spawn here, or where I started off the uh, video. Uh, 
You also have a nice sort of indent here, which is good for getting behind cover if people are spawning over there. You'll sometimes see that within my gameplays. Another underground room here, which is quite good for sneaking underneath and then coming straight up in here. When you do come up in here, I recommend jumping around the corner just in case there's anyone going prone over here. If you come jumping around that corner, you're going to surprise them a little bit. And then of course, there's often people sitting here shooting around the map. This is one of the three core, core windows. You've got one, you've got uh, two, and then you've got the one I'm in at the moment. You can come outside again. Get a little bit of cover, shoot anyone that's over there, shoot anyone that's over here, but it's not very well covered. And you have to climb back up to get in the window. And often what will happen is you come out, get a few kills, go to climb back in, you get shot in the back as you try to climb in. I recommend coming out here, just jumping on top of the tank to stop falling damage, and then sort of getting on with your, you know, whatever you're trying to do, basically. Uh, so that's cool. You've got this part here, which is a good rushing route. If you spawn over there, come straight through here. Shoot open the gate and then start spraying at anyone that's in there or spraying at anyone that's in there. Uh, if not, you can come all the way around the edge of the map here. A lot of people don't know this exists, but you can come all the way around the edge. Little random ro room over here as well. And then you can also go inside the truck. Uh, it's just good basically to know every single part of the map. And that's what I want to show you guys. I got this. I went in this area for my free for all chem. Uh, it's another good sort of area to hold down right at the back of the map. You can, of course, come into this room here. Often if I spawn over there, I'll sprint to this building, come over here, and then shoot anyone that may be still over there, or shoot anyone that's sitting behind there, or behind there, and it's a good sort of way of uh, sort of checking who's in that direction. Again, you've got these wooden fences. Just note there can be someone behind them. You can climb up the ladder here. You will, you will make a bit of noise when you climb up that ladder, so just be wary of that. You need to be careful if there is anyone up here. They may have heard you come up. Another one of the key windows, I wouldn't recommend staying here for more than a few seconds, literally get one kill, or if you're not, if you're there for a few seconds, you haven't got a good kill, leave that window. You can go straight through the middle here, and look straight up to that area of the map, or you can come all the way around the edge of the map, uh, over here as well, and then you're back to where we have started, uh, so that is pretty neat. Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, this is a very nice spot up here, for those of you guys that didn't know that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this map overview. Uh, it's very cool just to show you guys everything that exists on the map. Making sure you're fully aware of everything that's going on. Because otherwise it's easy to get caught off guard. And especially since this game is so new. Knowing the layout of the map is very, very important. So hopefully you found this useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Check out all my other map guide videos in the playlist in the description. And let me know which map you want me to cover next. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Cheers.